Uh, this is a relatively quick video about wire gauges and why you probably want to make sure you get the correct one. Um, I, I, a while back, since I was in my, I, one of my hobbies or obsessions was fixing old radios and sometimes when you're working on stuff you want to you need to wire some, something and whatever it is you're doing needs a specific size wire or you may have to make sure it can handle the amperage and whatever and I needed a wire gauge so I ordered one off of eBay and got it um, came from India and it wasn't very well made but that wasn't the main problem with it, it uh, what, what, what I found was that I kept well first off why did I need a wire gauge um, wires are most people know that wire is marked well yeah most wire is marked but in a lot of cases, it's not marked very clearly and legibly. Uh, the machines that mark them oftentimes smear. Sometimes the, the, the printing is so incredibly small, it's pretty much not readable. Um, or you have wire that has no insulation on it and you need to know how, how big it is. Either way, you know, you want to know what size the wire is. So I, I got this wire gauge and I was starting to measure things with it and marking stuff and I was noting discrepancies that at first I attributed to the poorly the poor quality of the gauge that I purchased. It, it was made in India and I don't know if you, you can we'll look at this one real close you can see that, unfortunately I threw it away before I made this video. Um, if you look, these cutouts are perfectly straight and parallel and they line up with the center. And, you know, this is, these two are quality pieces of equipment that are very reliable and give accurate measurements. Um, so at first I thought it, it was the, the wire gauges, so um, I was rummaging through my dad's stuff and I found this. this is another wire gauge and I thought oh cool I'll start using this one and basically I put this one out here in the shed and I put the other one in the house and so I started using this one and I noticed a lot of discrepancies uh, you can't see it now because I actually took a wire brush to this but this was actually pretty rusty uh, the back side is a little bit, has spots of rust, whatever. So you could read the gauge numbers, which are al along here, but, and you could read these measurement numbers, but you c I couldn't read what, what was written in here. And, anyways, so one day I was, I was getting kind of fed up with this and I started measuring the wires and with a, a calipers and I was measuring these gaps and they weren't the same like if you pick 14 gauge uh, the gap in this was larger than the wire by quite a, an amount and in fact it was measuring it almost two gauges higher than uh, it was supposed to and so I went on the internet and I well first thing is I noticed that the one I had that was made in India um, it was marked as a standard wire gauge and you might think oh good that's a standard wire gauge well it's not it's a standard wire gauge in England. It's British wire gauge. 
American wire gauge is called American wire gauge. It's not called standard wire gauge. Um, so, as you can see on this wire gauge, which I recently purchased off eBay, it says American standard wire gauge. Um, the other one said just standard wire gauge. So when I measured the gaps and compared them to the numbers on the back, I realized that the, the, the one from India was, even though it looked like crap, it was actually, the gauge sizes were actually correct for what they were printed, what was printed on the back. And it was when I looked them up on Wikipedia that I realized that this was British wire gauge. I was like, great. So I've got a worthless uh, wire gauge because I can't, I don't use British wire gauge. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm going to use this one. And, but it also, I figured, you know, it seems to be a precision made piece of equipment. Why is it wrong? And it had, a, for the 14 gauge wire, it had a reading of. Point zero eight. It's really difficult to read. Eight three point zero eight three. Well, that's not right because on here, fourteen gauge is point zero six four. I was like, "What the hell is going on here?" So I I clean this off <coughs> and if you can see it on there, it says. Birmingham wire gauge. So I looked that up and found out that Birmingham wire gauge is an old gauge for measuring outside diameters of tubing and hypodermic needles. So although it is close to British wire gauge, uh, so this is useless. So I finally ordered two of these and I put one out here in the shed and put one inside and uh, so if you don't know how to use one of these, all we have here is some wire. I think this might be 12 gauge, but it also might be 14. And so what you do is you find, this is 14, and it won't fit through there, it won't fit through 13, that doesn't even fit through 12, but it does fit through 11, although I think this is actually 12 gauge. Let me see what it says. Yep, it's marked as 12 gauge, but I'm going to I'm gonna verify it. So this is supposed to be 12 gauge, and it measures 0, 7, 9. And according to this, 12 gauge is 
0.081, so this should be fitting in here. Um, this may have been squished at, one, at some time. Let me get a... measure this. This measure is point zero eight one. Interesting because this wire doesn't fit in there. Huh. Okay, it does fit, but it's just barely. Either way, um, this is far more accurate than uh, what I had before because if I had gone by what I thought this was, it would have, I would have thought that it was, um, I would have thought it was 14 gauge, because it fits in 14, just perfectly. And, now, if I'm in America, and I use wire that's the wrong size, and I relied on a gauge like this, I would be going up in size, which would not be bad. <coughs> uh, because 12 gauge wire can carry more amps. So, you know, that's great. I mean, it would be unnecessary, but... Uh, but the other way around is that if I was in England and I was using an American Standard one, I'd be using a smaller gauge wire because uh, British wire gauge is almost twice, each size is almost twice the American size. Um, anyways, uh, these are uh, much better precision made. They're, they're not from India. I'll, I'll put the information earlier up in the video. And uh, they weren't very expensive. You could, apparently you can get them for less than $10 off Amazon. So, hope this helps.